Hello guys, welcome to the next section, Record Linkage, Stochastic and Machine Learning Approaches. In this section, we will look at topics such as introduce a use case that can be solved by record linkage algorithms, demonstrate the use of the R package, record linkage, cover stochastic record linkage algorithms, implement machine learning based record linkage algorithms, and build an R Shiny application. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with demonstrating the use of record linkage package. In this video, we're going to take a look at feature generation. We will also see string features and phonetic features. Let's see the use case for record linkage. Our customer owns and operates water theme parks. Last year, he had induced a couple of small-time firms to solicit customers to purchase theme park tickets. The problem at hand now is with one of the small firms, let's call it Solit. Solit claims that in the last quarter, it was able to channel close to 15,000 customers to buy tickets at the various theme parks. Neither our customer nor Solit has an exact list of the customers. Both of them have their own database of customers. The problem at hand is how many exact customers were channeled by Solit. The data contains the first name, last name, and date of birth of the customers. Keep in mind, the data fields can differ slightly. For example, two records referring to the same entity, say John, may have a small change in the last name or a slightly different date of birth. Assume that we have merged the database records from both the parties. The record number indicates the source of the record, that is whether they came from our customer or Solit. If we can find duplicates in this data set, that should serve as the first step in identifying the customers channeled by Solit. Now, we will demonstrate the use of Record Linkage Package. We will leverage the Record Linkage Package in R. Using these lines of code, we will look at the data set. Let's run it. Our data, RL Data 500, has 500 records and 7 variables which includes first name, last name, and date of birth details. The first and last names are separated into two components denoted by the suffixes, underscore C1 and underscore C2. The date of birth is split into year, month, and day. Next, we will see the steps to implement record linkage. Feature generation is the first step in record linkage. Once we have the desired features, we can solve the record linkage problem either using a stochastic approach or by fitting a machine learning model to the generated features. Here, we are using compare.deadup function to generate the features. Let's run the code. We have 500 records. We should generate 500 into 500 minus 1 by 2 pairs to do the comparisons. In general, for n records, it will be n into n minus 1 by 2 pairs. In a large data set, this may be tedious. The block FLD parameter helps us alleviate this problem. It helps reduce the number of pairs by focusing on certain constraints while generating the pairs. Our constraints are represented in the list. We need either to match the first column or columns 5 up to 7 for two records to qualify to become a pair. You can see in the results that we're finally left with only 1,221 pairs. The deadup function will return a list. The entry pairs in the list form a data frame that has all the generated features. We capture this data frame under the name matches. Let's look at the first two rows of the data frame. As you can see, each row compares two records. The first instance compares records 1 and 174. There is a perfect match in the first component of the first name. Both the entities do not have a second component for the first name. We see a float number in the first component of the last name. This number is the output of a string comparison. There is no match in the date of birth fields. The final column is underscore match indicating if we have a match. Let's start with the string comparison. Now we will see the deadup function invocation once again. The strcmp 
and STRCMP fund parameters dictate on which fields we need to do a string comparison and what kind of string comparison we need to apply. We pass a vector indicating the column IDs to STRCMP. We are doing string comparisons in columns 2, 3, and 4. We will use the Levenstein distance to find the similarity between two strings. Next, we will look at the records 1 and 174. We see that the first name is matching, but the rest of the fields are not matching. The Levenstein distance 0 0.142857 states how far the last names are from each other. After that, we will state the exact columns where string comparisons should be applied. If not specified, this may lead to unexpected results. For that purpose, we are using this highlighted code snippet. You can see that the function has calculated the string comparisons for the date of birth fields. Let's move to phonetic features. The record linkage package includes soundex and pho underscore h algorithms to compare string columns. In our example, we will use columns 2, 3, and 4 for string comparison, specified by the list we pass to the phonetic parameter. And we will use the pho underscore h function by passing it to the fun fun parameter. Using this code snippet, we will generate some phonetic based features. We run the code. If we compare the results with the string matching output, we see that we find no match between record IDs 1 and 174. Let's look at instance 4, where records ID 1 is 2 and ID 2 is 43 are compared, which is a match. Let's see the output for the comparison. As you can see, the last name is similar, hence the algorithm has captured them as similar records. In this video, we've demonstrated the usage of Record Linkage Package.